one cookie jar. They're supposed to be 50 milligrams each, which means that's the equivalent of taking five gummies at once. I'm gonna eat me a cookie, and we gonna see what happens. What the cookies look like, y'all. This birthday cake. Cookies, this is what cookies look like. One hour later. I do not lie. She said she vibrating. I am. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with you. I am. My whole being is vibrating. It's like... <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. It feels good to be me. I am so close to me right now. I know it. Like... Take it home. I am so close to me right now. Take your clothes off. I am fucking brilliant. And that's not to dim anyone else's light. It's me coming into my own. And that's something we all need to do. Woo wee! This is the comment. Now Dre was mad at me when I said I trained him well. He's like, I ain't no dog, but we all train. Why do you think we do what we do is because we saw somebody do it or we reacted or created a behavior to sustain or maintain or survive. That's the word I want to use. We created a behavior to survive our treatment. You treat me this way, so in order for me to, re to stop receiving that treatment, I must alter how I behave. Therefore, we are being trained. Mwah. I love this comment. Yes. Mwah. All silliness aside, I was talking to Michael one day and I was looking at him, I was like, why don't you listen to me until I yell at you? And then I said, hmm, you don't listen to me until I yell at you because I've trained you not to listen to me until I yell at you. Like, <laughs> mind blown. Revelations just pop, pop, popping off. It's like when you start asking questions, the universe is gonna give you answers. So now it isn't even a retraining of my children, it's a retraining of myself. I refuse to yell at my kids now. Okay, look, I'm a work in progress. But my first mind isn't to yell. My first mind is to, if I want them to respond to me without me yelling, I have to stop yelling. So we out here playing Russian roulette. We like, okay, I know how many times this person needs to pop off before it really pops off. Dre knows how long he can push things until it starts an argument. Well, as Dre says, there's a difference between a fight and an argument. He's all right with a little argument, but he knows what to do so it doesn't start a fight. And kids know I could do whatever the hell I want to until she starts yelling. And I know after the yelling comes the butt whooping, so I'm going to respond with the yelling. But I know I can push it until the yelling. But as adults, we just get frustrated because we're like, why aren't you listening until I yell at you? It's because I know that I don't have to listen to you until you start yelling cause and effect baby this the comment right here and in all these changes that i'm advocating for i'm not saying that there's no form of discipline in the home i'm not saying there doesn't need to be any form of discipline in the home what i'm saying is we can discipline and we can correct actions without then going in 20 more times after that saying the same but different in just more derogatory terms today i was talking to michael and i noticed that because i've been paying attention on both sides i've been paying attention to me not yelling and i've been paying attention to how he responds to me and I noticed today that he listened to me without me having to yell at him. He was just like, okay, and he repeated back to me what I asked him to do. And I was just like, yes, it's happening. So it doesn't take long. Once you start implementing changes within your home, it doesn't take long because just how you train them to not listen until you yell, you could train them to listen before you yell. This is the comment right here. This little dude doing her a solid and she gonna yell at him. He's like... She said, Michael, bring me the chips. And so Michael's like, these chips? And she's like, just bring me the chips. Like, he's doing you a favor. Pipe down. I said they were the only chips over there. What other chips? I said, what other chips? Yeah, but you had a little tone with a little impatient tone with the little dude <laughs> when he trying to do you a favor. It's like Respucia. Yeah, so we got to decide. We got to determine. I'm sorry. Our... That's not very progressive family movement for that's all right because we're all learning but the, the thing is you know we choose moment to moment how we're going to respond to something we were recording a video about how she needs or how she is trying to determine 
you know, what of her behaviors are naturally her behaviors and which of her behaviors are learned from me in determining who she truly is. Because we really fight with ourselves because we don't know who we are. So much of what, you know, I walked away from the church. This is a good point. I walked away from the church because the church was telling me who God was. And who the church was telling me who God was. I didn't, I, me and, mm, I don't mess with that dude. He, he go too hard for me. Why is he making my life worse because I kissed a girl or something? You kissing girls? No. What in the world is going on? I'm just saying that that's a, a sin. That's a known sin, is it not? Okay, I'm with you. So, yeah. So, I'm saying if you, someone kissed... I'm saying you. I, I haven't been to church. Like, I was never... I didn't even know gay people were a thing when I'm I was too. at church. Like, at that age when I went to church. Yeah, I never, I've never introduced religion to my kids because I, religion messed me up so much that I didn't want my kids, to, I wanted my kids to know who God was for themselves. I didn't want somebody to tell them. And so the reason why I walked away from the church and the whole point that I was saying was I had to figure out who God was for myself. So Bailey's saying she needs to figure out who she is outside of me and that's what she's experiencing right now. Yep, it's like a big She's having a big epiphany. Or is the epiphany just a big itself? I don't need to say big. It's a big itself. No, I mean like, is the epiphany itself? I don't need big as emphasis. Epiphany is itself. It's already big. It's already big. <laughs> you know what I'm saying though? Like, the, is the word epiphany already enough emphasis? It's emphasized. It's big inside of it. Like big epiphany instead of just epiphany. Did you just say epiphany? You tell me. I'm talking Tommy you. I know. You I didn't was, pick up on that? I was like, why are you repeating what I'm saying? Are you seeing what I'm saying? <sighs> yes, epiphany is big enough on its own that you don't have to say a big epiphany. Right. It's funny when people mock me about this stuff. That's because they don't understand you. People don't have the intelligence to like I converse with you, so they mock you to make themselves feel like they could be a part of the conversation.